So if you saw the import spring show off 2021 video, you would know that this is broken down. It broke down in my driveway as I was pulling in on my way home. It wouldn't start at the track. It wouldn't start to get it home. We had to push and bump start it to get it home. What we found out is that one, if you, I mean, if you watch the video, one, the, uh, oh, I guess the hood's already popped. One of the fuses blew, so I got a new fuse and the car actually started again. And we also found out that if you bridge the gap on the starter with a screwdriver, the positive and negative with the screwdriver, it turns over, which means the starter is good, which in turn means one of the part of the wiring is bad. Now, when you click the key over, the car doesn't start. So what that means is that the wiring that goes from the starter to the key, which is the ignition, something's bad in there. When you turn the key, it's not telling the starter to turn the car on. Now, instead of ripping out all the wiring, because this is a full custom wiring harness and I don't want to deal with that nightmare, what we are going to do is we're going to make it push start. Yes, we're making this thing push start. So I bought a button off of Amazon. It's going to go in the car. We're going to put it in between the two gauges. We're going to have to relocate those switch to those two blank spots right there is what we're going to do. We're going to have to... I'm gonna have to 3D print a new one of those gauge plates for the dash because it's gonna to be too many holes for this to fit in. Is we're gonna make a new ground on the starter and ground a starter wire straight to here. Straight to here or straight to somewhere else that we can ground it to. We're then gonna split that starter wire and run one side to the switch and then one side out of the switch to the ground. So essentially, the starter is always going to have power but when you click the switch, that's what completes the circuit to turn the car over. So if, if you know what an S2000 is, Honda S2000, it's gonna start the same way as a Honda S2000. You're gonna take the key, turn it into an accessory, all the fuel's gonna turn on and everything, then you're gonna click the starter button that's gonna engage the starter and complete the circuit, therefore turning the car on. Also, if you're ever working on anything electrical, undo your battery. I've made the mistake even by doing something simple like checking a plug and electrocuted the crap out of myself. So no matter what you're doing with electrical, just undo the battery so you don't electrocute the crap out of yourself. Theoretically, you should touch this there and the car should try and start itself. No again. Oh no, this is not not good. Oh no. Just got off the phone with one of my friends who is a wiring genius. He's done full harnesses on cars like this and swaps and stuff. So he was supposed to be here helping me, but he's got work. But this is a little more complicated than I thought. People that know cars maybe a little better than me are probably smacking their keyboards until this point, but I understand what's going on now. We can't just run straight to the negative. We can't just add a straight power wire because that gives no signal to the starter and no signal to the ECU. So what we have to do is this third wire down here, this one that has the plug on it, this is most likely our starter signal wire. And what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to tap into the starter signal wire and run that tap so like we'll take this 10 gauge wire, we'll tap it into the signal wire, and then we'll run the 10 gauge wire into a 12 volt ignition source that is ignition on. So the car will only, the starter will only have power with the ignition on. So now when we run that wire, this wire to an ignition source off of the signal wire that has that plug, we'll also have to run another wire to most likely the fuse box or something. So there's another fuse in there that has like the starter signal or whatever for the ECU. So that way the ECU knows that when we click the button that the car is trying to start and blah, 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 blah. It's a little more complicated than we thought. Well, that's what we're going to do. We didn't need to just add a ground. We got to split into that wire, run to a 12 bore ignition source, and then run another wire from the button to the fuse box for the ECU. And then that should be pretty much it besides accessory wire and things for the lights on the button, but that's different stuff. So we're going to get back to it again.
So now that we have the starter signal wire into the cabin, this is where we got to start figuring some of this out. So what we found out is the blue wire is our open pin wire. So this blue wire is going to go to the yellow wire that we just spliced off the starter. And it's also going to go to the ECU starter signal, which is we got to find that next. So this blue wire has two wires going into it. This red wire and this green wire, this is the green wire is the common, the red wire is the positive. These two go to the 12 volt positive. So like cigarette lighter or whatever you want to splice into for 12 volt positive. It's better if it's ignition on so that way the button doesn't work unless the key's turned. And this black is negative. This yellow is a closed pin and I don't need to use this one. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna keep going at it. It's taken a while, but we're gonna figure it out hopefully. All right, so this is an official test run. Got the ground just sitting there. Let's see if it's gonna roll, turn over. <gasps> Are you serious? Oh my gosh, it works. No way. I actually can't believe that that works. I am seriously speechless. I, this is so jankily wired together. I pulled some stuff off of a switch that I made for the oil cooler fan and just kind of touched it to things just to give it power to, so I didn't waste my time if it didn't work. I can't believe that works. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Oh, I'm so stoked. We got to finish wiring this up now. Okay, so this is just mock wired up. I have the two switches here. So oh, this isn't gonna fit there right. I need to re 3D print one of these, like I said. So this is just gonna sit there for now. I need to extend all of these wires so I can mount these here. But now that this is all put back together, I wanna check to make sure it works. So we're gonna make sure it's a neutral. Theoretically, the way I wired it, as soon as the key goes on, the light should go on. So we're gonna key it on. Lights on, no, no why that's green. We're gonna leave that for now. Fuel pump primed, neutral, theoretically should start with the push of a button. Yeah, yeah. Works perfect. So I went ahead and finished up the switches. We took these two blank spots and drilled them out to fit the switches. One of them cracked, they're not perfect. Um, obviously this isn't perfect either. I'm having my friend that 3D printed me the first time to 3D print this exact same piece again. So we're gonna mount the push start button right in between the gauges. And I'm also gonna see if he can 3D print me two of these that actually fit switches. I've seen those on like eBay and stuff, but these work now. But that's pretty much what it's all gonna look like except with all this ugliness with the button. So I'm just gonna kind of show you what the wiring looks like before we end the video. That's where I splice into the starter signal wire for the ignition right there. That went through the firewall. Looks like I pulled a connection apart that I'm gonna have to redo, sadly. But that yellow wire goes into the firewall, into the cabin. Fuse box, we have one of the, we have a wire coming out of the fuse box. It's at the foot panel for the ECU signal starter wire. And that goes to the switch too. And we extended the switches, got these here now. Power and ground is a simplified way. You already know how it works, but that's about how it all looks. But yeah, that's how we go. So that's where we're gonna end this video. 
finally the car starts and runs now. So, thanks for watching.